Twitch. I just need to get on Facebook, though. Twitch good? Twitch just ain't got no algorithm. Facebook, where is that? I feel like, fool, I feel like, man, we get us a little crew going, fool, we'll be, because you got to have you a crew. See, that's what I'm saying, too. I'm peeping what's really going on. Like, the niggas that's at the top of the um, Call of Duty, they, they, they grouped up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it be like a group. Uh, I ain't trying to say it like that, but it be a, a group of white boys. Like, you got to get in where you fit in, because you ain't coming, you know what I'm saying? Because they play together. Most of them play together. Some of them up top, because they just up top. You know what I'm saying? They just, but most of them be on there playing together, fool. All you gotta do is get you a group. It's over with. Yo, what up, Hussein? They doing that new Call of Duty review right now. I was on screen that shit. I don't even feel like it. Fuck that shit. I'll see you later on. That'll be a rewrite. I'm like that, though. Oh, yeah. Doing your thing. I just started playing Caldera. They keep taking rebirth out. This shit really scrape. Yeah. This shit been playing. You be sniping or not? Yeah, yeah. I'm using that Card 98 with the PBS 8. That Card 98 like that. Because I just tagged him or something. I'm finna go look at it. That PBS 8 is crazy. What, talking about IG? Nah, somebody said they tagged me or something. I hope you ain't talking about my gaming page. Cause you got to take my regular page. For I think Ryder got my page blocked. I think Ryder got my page blocked. Then, but he ain't even gonna care for. He 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 had to call somebody or something like yeah this they bullying. They about to play Warzone two. I already know they about to play Warzone two. Hold on, they gonna play Warzone two right now. I might have to screen that man. That's why nobody ain't in it, but I know, I thought they was gonna play just a Call of Duty. I ain't know they was gonna play Warzone 2. Hold on, cause I was just on Faye Swag page. He going live in 10 minutes. I been seeing you playing Fortune Keep too. I be all around. Well, whatever this, whatever I, I don't, you know, I'm a rebirth player with shit. Nigga gotta stay on the screen, so I gotta play. Regardless. Yeah, yeah he. Nah, nah, nah. I just play Call of Duty. For real, for real. As long as I'm on Kyle, they ain't tripping. I got a Call of Duty base. I'm gonna start playing that Grand Theft Auto with the, with the RP and shit where you can get all the extra stuff, cars and stuff like that. That roleplay yeah. shit. Think about if you, uh, what if you was to get on that and then hop in T Grizz and then where pay that one time fee. Man, I ain't you ain't even gotta pay no one time fee for whatever. You can wait. I can just wait. I ain't trying to wait every time. But like you can wait. It, I don't know. It's different service you can get in. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even gotta hop in eight, hop in there like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so many RP where they got the four pill. They got little dirt just dropped his. The old block. They got some of the RP words. They playing was on too. Nah, I'm talking about um other screamers and shit. They they scream the new um was on right now. I gotta watch that. I ain't gonna lie. I guess I'm gonna play and watch. Play. I should have did a watch party and played later on. I'm already, I love it. I should have did a watch party later, Malik.
I wonder why they ain't let me get on there and do it. I, I'm a top content creator. Yo, what up, Sice? He said I'm five line work to catch the screen, what's the word? What's good, bro? So I guess they big lane and platforms, right about that. I ain't worried about it. I'm gonna have my chance when the game come out, I ain't tripping. He said that one MA nigga a shooter. I ain't know who I am, is. He said not shipping up the grill. That's where it's at, bro. Man. That boy, you always clicking. Uh, China TT. My boy, stay with something on the grill. Stay cooking something. He said, tell the top players to focus your top tier. Facts, man. I don't know why they ain't let me uh, premiere them out. Money Brown Gaming, man. Yeah, I got my sniper, bro. He said that man on that dare, that dare was that while y'all playing. Yeah, don't sleep on it. Well, everybody playing Rebirth. People want to see kind of dare, so I guess gonna be the one to play it. Money Brown. I know how to get my girls. I ain't tripping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we rotating too. You said that started killing? All you gotta do is get a female dog. Oh, that's a killer right there. You got my dog already. Got a female? Nah, that's all we need is a female. That's a killer. Somebody said that started killing. I got him.
Damn, I was going crazy, boy. I'm like that. I'm like that. Did he get finished out? I'm like that. In the back of the spawn, right? Back in the spawn, you see nothing. He's back in the Oh, I was going crazy. Is that I'm definitely throwing steaks on that hoe? Man, that's what I need right now. A nice steak, I ain't gonna lie. Man, I had that squad. I ain't gonna count. That was that was going crazy for a second. Um, I guess in a little bit. They gotta get the racks right. That's a load up. I don't know. I think we already grabbed it. We grabbed it. Might be in the storm or it's gone. It. Nah, we ain't buy one. It was a free one. I think. It don't even matter. It's market. Alright, we need to go on and go that way because I don't do up here. Yeah, they right here on me. Fuck. That nigga right here inside. Oh, that was a bad landing on the. I should not even went down there like that. Oh, squad right though. Yeah, you gotta buy that. Parmesan, crust, and onions. What season you be using? What season you be using the TT? Some dry rub, but you got to look. Should be using. Yeah, shout out to the big 40, man. If y'all enjoying the content, make sure y'all tap a big like button for me. Man. We gotta get, we gotta get, we gotta get bite. I tried to push that squad, but this is not that. I be forget. You ain't got no plates. I guess let's rotate in towards the arm um, battle. I got a cold season change. Dude's been on here lately. Yeah, dude's be playing. We ain't got time. E plates, I can buy some. I just heard somebody snipe right here. I need a different AR. I don't like this. I just heard somebody snipe right here, no cap. Damn, these guns on the side of the mountain. Ain't no way I'm gonna grab them hoes. Yeah, I bet I am. How the fuck you gonna... They gonna fuck around and slide off. I'm about to say, they gonna get a dead slice. That's the way you want. You can get the... the yeah, I'm... That's what's good. It ain't... I got... I, he had a sniper and he had a... Um, what's the name? A 
I got both of them holes. You want one? Nah, I'm good now with what I got. Bitch. Okay, we got a scar out here still. Hold up, I gotta get a back up these rocks. Man, they on top anyway. Let's come back up. What's that sauce? Fresh garlic, black pepper, onions, light seasoned salt. And garlic on a dry rub. Yeah. Nah, that ain't enough. That's how my cousin be cooking. I ain't gonna lie, I can't cook, but I know I know everything though. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't just off. <laughs> Those the the gimmicks. I didn't know you can go Come on, man. He has some, ah, that PPSH. Of course. Of course. PPSH. That's an honor way. Yeah, what up, AJ? AJ, put some butter in that wash on the grill. Wrap the fall to keep it nice and juicy. Oh, GG's, Marquise. He went good. You ain't got no other one. Uh, we can run duos though. And that's what you want to run. He said, cool, trying to learn something real quick. Let's get it. That was, man, I had them. I'm trying to get back on that big map vibe since they're dropping a new words on, too. I'm trying to get back on the big map vibe, no cap. I ain't gonna lie, you know, I ain't, I ain't never got off the You don't be on, I be on the smile map, though. You I be on Been on the smile, uh, smile mails lately for real. But unfortunately, Karan with the big 200. Appreciate that, bro. D. Yeah, Karan said, Money Brown. Oh, no, nah, he, he played, uh, let me see. He said, He think he lost the vibe. What you mean? What you mean? I ain't lose no vibe. Ah, uh, you talking about the big mouth vibe? Uh, for real, for real. I be playing Rebirth a couple months straight. Rebirth. And some hoes. I be playing all that other stuff. But yeah, I definitely feel like I lost the vibe. I ain't, I ain't got that big mouth vibe. Oh my god, what happened to Verge? I'm trying to adjust my Yeti so where it don't really pick up my headphone noise, it just pick up my voice noise. Let me see what that word is. That 
the game. Open mic threshold for stream levels. Hey, how they is with cursing on your stream, bro? It's straight, ain't Man, I be cussing all the goddamn time. Fuck that shit. <laughs> they say it messed with the algorithm, but I don't feel like it messed with the algorithm for real, for real. Yo. Hey, do my. I think my audio sound better now, y'all. What y'all think? been sounding bad for no reason. Let's get it. We getting more professional and professional every day. Where is definitely going to go up. And you can't even hear the um, echo from the headset. Let's get it. Let's get it, AJ. You good? Now I'm very stepping for the go, old brother. <laughs> yeah, it's not picking up the audio. That's lit. That's real, real lit. He said, got me excited for no reason. Man. He ain't the only one excited. Mark it up. I ain't trying to go to peak, man. That one don't shoot us yet. I want them shooters to be at, man. Nah, you gonna be able to hear them. You gonna be able to hear them, cause they 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 sound tied to the end game sound. It was my mic that was too loud, like Yeti. It was picking up the background noise. It was showing in the thing, but I didn't know you can add all that stuff on. Oh, we're gonna go down now. That what it? Five second hit it. Hell no hell. Craig, can they hit it? 
Devontae says, Specs, what specs you want, bro? PPSH if one of y'all want that. Hold on right there. Right they saw the game. What you think about it, Danny Malik? I'm gonna see it right here. I was gonna premiere, but fuck that game. I'll play that motherfucker when it come out. I ain't like I'm gonna hop on that motherfucker today. Yeah, you just fucked me up, Jenna Malik. Gotta read those comments. Go school, I'm right behind you. Yeah, I see his bitch ass up. Oh, my father bro, my leg. I'm behind y'all. One on top of the building, cello. What building? Oh, show a little school. Oh, money right here. Jumping off. I should hit the balloon. Huh. Yeah, Devante said my shit look good as hell. Appreciate that, Devante. Quality graphics, bro. Let me lock into this game. He must have ran. Yeah, he probably went down the hill. Yeah, he buying back. He just bought back down here. Hey, that day I just used my deed, silence, and everything. Hey, watch this. Sniper. Who sniper? Yeah, right there. And hit on one right there to the bottom, too. Let's go. Yeah, right there. Yeah, they're right under you, Orange. Yep, right there inside. Why are they beaming for right there? I can't even come do that goddamn helicopter. Crazy, hello. That's one. Right down, you green. He said, I only get 120 frames. Nah, I get more than 120 frames. I'm capped at 120 frames. In the PS5, I only get 120 frames, bro. I'm capped at 120. I can get way more than 120 frames. Nah, I just popped it. Ain't nobody around us. Yeah, rotate in the point of playing on what's the name? That's about right here. I'm out of the sky. Let's go. Alright, 
In the sky, I gotta be. I don't see him. He's here above though. I'm getting a bounty over here. Come here. Bro, that's why I hate this nigga ass out. Nigga be high. It get fun at the end, though. That's why I like the end game. That be like a rush. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Damn, you gotta bring that game Somebody face shoot. out. Somebody shooting at us. Yup, yeah, they behind us. They right here on me. He cracked. Crack, crack, crack at the end right there. Crack, crack, crack. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. I killed top of the zone. He said, uh, he said I'm cheating. I know how to cheat. Yeah. How you kill that PBSH? Yeah. I pop right around the corner with it out. Bro, I swear that he was one shot, literally two. Like, I didn't yeah. even miss on him. Javier said, let's run it. Let's get it to Barry on Kyder right now. He's trying to play. Get some quads going. Get the UAV. They haven't got a squad over at all. Right. They ain't got the paint, y'all. Yeah, come. I'm about to grab this bounty. Hey, they ain't got the zip that thing. Ain't no telling what I'm bitch. Nah, you wait. Oh my god. One more on there, someone. I don't got enough for you know the UAV. Nah, he might be in the corner camping somewhere. Oh, we get that zip. I ain't trying to pull up zip though. Bye. Somebody right? Who's Damn, Chello? Oh my goodness, I just. Oh my goodness, I just fried him. I don't even know how you hit that goddamn far, boy. Come, I'm right behind y'all. Oh, he in the it's window. He in the window. He on top in the window. He window for me. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I ain't nowhere in the fuck I can mark that. Man, side too. He right here, boy. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh, I pulled that. I done lost my uh, perks. I pulled that sub out so fucking slow. 
And there's a bounty shoot that back. Yeah. Oh, that's just to the left too. Oh, oh that's a dock shoot, I think. Yeah, in the map right now. We can go bounty though. Gotta read the plot though. Got a satchel right though. Say I feel like I am. Oh, you got double time. Yo, read the plot, Do I got double time? Yeah. Hey, yeah, I run double time. I hit by the sky. Oh shit. Crack, crack, crack. He crack, he yeah, he crack, crack, crack. He don't hit by the sky tonight. He's supposed to be dead then. Man, I swear to God, bro. Yeah, we over there. Hit him again. Hit him again, crack. Good shot, boy. Where you at? Get him up. Got two down. One more up top still. Where the hell am I going at? More than one. Get him up top. Hey, we gotta rotate in. I ain't finna show that hole, though. Uh, no more. That build is too tall. It's gonna die, though. They can be all the way up. Oh, left, 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 left. Oh, wow. Let me get out of there. Damn. Oh, it's here up top. I'm coming back. Third floor. That's why I want to get up out of there. I'm coming back for you, girl. They coming to you, coming to you, coming to you. I don't got the fuck I'm pissed. Grab my guns right there, money. I had the racks too. Uh -huh. yeah. I still got Gula, I didn't get it. Yeah, what up, Jacob and Chappelle? He just knew somebody else was coming right at the corner. Help.
Yo, yo. Yo. Oh yeah, they're right there. But just lie back, you can land a loadout probably. Thanks for the follow. Yo, appreciate that big follow in the chat, man. Let's go. Hey, man, I'm the final ten. I'm only ten left, GG. What the hell that? Yeah, I got this opening like this though. Just call us out, said he got sniped from over here. Let's I mean, it, it's part on the left somewhere. On me right now, just heard him. Let's go! Fight. Bat me, bat me money. Load out. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Five right there, that's why I said. Uh, that, uh, what's the name is coming in? Airstrike. One on me. Whoa. They're trying to rap on us, bro. Go on the go right. This night. Like The only reason I ain't buy you right back because I ain't want them to snipe it from right there. And they had a cluster coming, they had to get out of the way. Get it, James. Let's go! Load out boxes just left. It's a 3v1v1. You want? Oh, the new safe Up top, though. I ain't sniping. Meet up here. Got 
Kadera vibes, man. Kadera is slick lit, bro. Uh. I rotated up. Uh, hit on one. Hey, hey. Going down, baby boy. Send it. Got your request. Buster strike is active. He ain't gonna pee. Yeah, it ain't that bad. It's my first. People hate it because it's boring. It's big as hell. That's a. Ooh, shit. To the safe zone now. Oh, boy, they right there. Turn up on the ship. Get on the ship. Me up, me up, me up, me up, me up. Start right inside on me. First floor, chill out. Hey, buddy. Er, got the ship. I ran to the over here. Yeah, I hopped down to the They still gave you that. Too easy. Oh, let me look at this one on two map, man. See what I think about it, man. Yo. 
we have Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna watch this goddamn new new college drop. Wait. Back to the man, chill out. Chill out. Alright. Alright, y'all. We're gonna watch this new college drop. Yeah, yeah, Game capture. <laughs> Boy, I was nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm super excited. This is the first like Call of Duty of like, like, the, this like is our testing wise. Uh, this is really new to us. Uh, really exciting. Uh, I don't know what to expect. Uh, <laughs> it's so good. It's ready to play. You know what I mean? Dude, they had us talking at the same time. <laughs> Your brand new guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, man. We're gonna have a lot of her two awards and two gameplay all throughout, man. It's gonna be vibes. Genuine vibes, genuine vibes, genuine vibes. Let me out, thank you for the sub, man. Chad, if you wanna become a member, member at the top. They just, the whip said that everything has copyrighted music. So like if I play it, this stream is getting, is getting picked up, which kind of sucks, but I'm kind of just gonna send it. I don't know. Do I just send it or rock? I feel like I'm gonna just send maybe. What are they, sh what are they showing in three minutes? Look at A, he is a great fucking nerd. Is it a tr I want to know what they're... Oh, like they're gonna intro like everything, like all of it? I might just send a chat and just take that out. I might just take that out. And not make, get not make money on the stream. For like, you know what I'm saying? If anything, I just have Activision try to help me. Because it's like a whole presentation with like trailers and shit, bro. Like, there's like multiple, there's supposed to be like multiple stuff. Maybe just mute the trailer when it's playing, but keep it up. I'll keep it up, but maybe no audio chat? Thoughts? Maybe I just mute the game audio? Mute 
Let's go! What up, Doug? Huh? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. If the trailer starts playing, they already clear. They tweeted that the reactors need to mute, though. The reactors need a mute. Oh shoot. Okay. Just take that out. Let's go. Let's go. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. And make sure you guys also like the stream right now. Turn on notifications. Swag game, you know the game. Let's go. Turn it up. New W2. You know what I'm saying? We up. Uh. Yo, you locked. You're not locked. You uh, huh? You're not locked. You shouldn't be here. I'm locked. Just go I'm home nervous. with Dexter. I'm nervous. Oh my god. She's in. She's in the chat. It's fine though. They pop up with a little, they have like a little hammer as well. There's just so many people in the chat. There's 20 k Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you your How do I do that? Oh, Tongue Torch. Right? right? Zach Sauce. Tongue Torch and Zach Sauce. With Zaxby's shaker finger plate, the question is not will you sauce those hand-breaded fingers? The did question is, can you get extra napkins? In the sauce abilities, only in Zaxby's. Did it work? Oh, oh shit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Call of Duty Next. I am Johanna Ferris, the general manager of Call of Duty, and I am thrilled to help kick off a truly significant moment, not only for the highly anticipated upcoming release of Modern Warfare 2, but a very significant moment for the future of the entire Call of Duty franchise. You see, over the last several years, we've experienced explosive and dynamic growth. And we've learned a ton along the way. And those learnings have fueled our ambition to deliver a wholly new, elevated player experience. One focused, of course, on delivering more fun and innovation. I like some of that. Tech advancements built to support a more connected Call of Duty community than ever before. So just know that what we share today across Modern Warfare 2, our brand new Warzone 2.0 experience coming later this fall, and our designs to bring Warzone to mobile for players on the go are all certainly big news, but it's just the first chapter of a very bold, long-term vision that we carry to take Call of Duty to even higher heights in the years to come. Ultimately, though, we know that you, our players and fans around the world, will be the judge of all that, and it's why we are thrilled to be doing this on the eve of our... Oh, that party. pussy. ...and to be here live in person with more than 200 of the biggest streamers and creators in all of gaming. They will finally get their hands on the true star of the show, the gameplay itself. So let's get right into it. It is my esteemed pleasure to introduce alongside me, Patrick Kelly, co-studio head of Infinity Ward and the executive creative director of Call of Duty. Pat, welcome. Thank you, Johanna. It's so exciting to be here with all of you. Uh, it's been such a journey to get to this place. You know, I, on the franchise, I always get asked by people, or regularly get asked by people, what are the areas you focused on improving, or what are the areas you innovated on? We worked on improving and innovating on every area of the game. I, I, it, it always comes back to gameplay. Gameplay is king. But I, I could go on and on. Uh, things like third person, things like what we've innovated in, in the space of Battle Royale. We've got an all new mode in DMZ that has large player counts along with massive player counts of, of AI. Um, and it goes on and on and on. We've got mobile connected with progression and everything else across all of the, the games. And it just goes on and on. 
But you know what? It all comes back to one thing. It comes back to fun. Everything we do is in the service of fun. Whether you're a hardcore player or a casual player, whether you are somebody who likes to play with your friends or you like to play alone, wherever you play, be it on console or PC or mobile, um, however you play, whether you're a camper or a slayer, we've tried to think about fun for you. And hopefully today you're gonna see that and play that and uh, Fun is what you come Tyra said I'd be there soon if I will fix, man. Uh, you know, fun is definitely what we're going to be heavily Thanks. focused on. And I'm particularly excited about some of the social features. At the hash books for like a pound of off. Things like proximity chat and do gulag twists. There's definitely going to be instances where players will interact, not only with their own squads, but may even have to work together with other players in unexpected and pretty fresh ways. We've already seen some hilarious interactions, in fact, during play sessions. And I can't wait to see how these new ways to connect evolve. Is that Omari, though? No. Now, Pat, what can you tell us about weapons? Oh, wow. So we've completely innovated in the area of connecting you, the player, to your instance in the game, making you feel more in the game. And I guess you can think about it as starting out with the camera. The camera represents your eyes, right? So connecting the camera to your body We've done that with some inverse kinematics and some physics and, and other things like that. We've connected then the body to the hands on the gun, again, with some sophisticated uh, inverse kinematics. We've connected the gun with the actual bullets coming out of it. So now, when wherever that gun is pointed, however it's pointed, the bullets are coming out of it exactly from the, the barrel. There's no disconnect there. And that's before I even get into what we've done with the new gunsmithing and how you build your weapons and the platforms etc but look i you're gonna play it and i hope you'll love it like we do all right well we've taken up enough time but before they kick us off the stage can we tell them about raids yes thank you so we with the beginning of modern warfare 2 and then shortly after that warzone 2.0 and then very shortly after that for the first time ever we're going to release a raid in call of duty it's a very different kind of gameplay it's very intense. We think it's very fun, um, and, and we're super excited about it. And by the way, there's one other thing I want to talk about for all, all of uh, you hardcore players out there. I heard so many of you talk about what, what kinds of gameplay challenges can you give us beyond just winning, which, anyway, I won't go off on that, but we've got a whole series of quests and gameplay challenges that occur when you actually win in Warzone or you hit different milestones that you'll have an opportunity to, to do. And believe me when I say, everyone in the match will know. He said, I don't see why you ain't OTC. I watch a lot of people and you one of my favorite to watch on game. Big things. You gonna get that, Tyrus. Now, before we kick it over to Miles and team to carry the day, we are extremely excited. To Is it free? I think Warzone 2 is free. Not Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer trailer. Thanks again and enjoy the show. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you. And the cartel, forming terrorist cells all over the globe. We've never seen activity on this scale before. They have an army. But we have each other. The world is a vampire.
get early access to the open beta. This shit look raw? Facts. Say black, I saw I played with none but the revolver had that bitch go. We've never seen activity on this scale before. How they play it twice. But I don't want to watch that shit twice. The world is a vampire. Are they playing it twice? They play it again. Need to make a mag cloud for the rifle to be two shots. He said the revival like that bet. Do not let them cross the border. Why they play this trailer twice though? Take him out. I ain't gonna stay in that part. Uh let me make some food on that note. Then play the game on the trailer twice. to the open beta. And there we go, Call of Duty fans. The trailer so nice. We ran it twice. It is all there. Everything that makes this franchise so, hey, mate, so, so we ain't touching on that. We are incredibly trailer. excited to be here today. And after that, quite frankly, oh, how could it not be? My name is Miles Ross, and I am so excited to truly be here with a few of the members of the Infinity Ward team who are bringing Modern Warfare 2 to life. Guys, we have 200 of our friends behind us who are going to be playing and streaming shortly. But before that, we also have Stephanie Snowden, Director of Communications for Infinity Ward, as well as Joe Hello, Sigler, here. Here, Jeff Smith, Multiplayer Design Directors here at Infinity Ward. Guys, first off, oh, how are things <laughs> evolving uh, from Modern Warfare 2019? I mean, let's start high level because there's a lot to get through today, guys. You saw that trailer. Let's go with the philosophy, Steph. Let's uh, stay high level. What went into the creation of the game? You said it precisely. There is so much. This game has just so much content it's got something for everyone and it's really been the result of three years of hard work um at iw and our partners across all of the activision studios and so much of that work started with you guys at home the community the fans our creators here and that conversation and feedback from 2019 is really been a core piece of what Modern Warfare 2 is. And it's a dialogue that we hope to, uh, you know, continue, especially here today. Well, we've got so much in store with this MP experience. And um, people like Jeff and Joe here, who I am honored to work with. I thought you got to buy the game and get the beta. Franchise. We're in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so Jeff, um, well, I don't know where to start anymore. Uh, let's uh, let's set up what Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is is all about. Uh, and let's stay high level for now, because there's a lot of details, friends, juicy details. Sure. I mean, you know, when you come into making a sequel, it can be kind of tricky. You know, um, what do you keep from the previous game? Uh, what do you get rid of? And where can you add new things in and not mess up this kind of nicely balanced ecosystem that we had? Uh, and so we came up with a few uh, methods, one of them being uh, player behaviors. And I say behaviors um, and not 
uh, play styles. I think a lot of people will say play styles, but that can kind of change during a match. But behaviors are more ingrained in how players play. Um, and we just put them into three big groups. Uh, we call them rushers, which are just aggressive players. They just want to find the action and go. And then we have sentinels. Um, and these are defensive players. They want to just kind of hold down a building, maybe keep a little overwatch. Um, and then we have um, stalkers, which are reactive. And they kind of hang back and try to read the field and read where um, spawns are. And really, we just kind of use these as filters to keep us honest with the content that we're making. Um, so they're making enough toys and equipment for players to be successful playing our game. Sounds like a lot of fun. Stephanie, uh, what are some of the new features coming to multiplayer, um, some of the new stuff that you're most excited to talk about? Oh, boy. There are a ton of new features to dive into with this game, but um, we really pushed forward even the most fundamental aspects of, of what makes a Call of Duty game um, with Modern Warfare 2, and it's been really amazing for me to come on board uh, this past year and see these innovations coming to life to hear Jeff jump in. I'm to, about to you know, dive in. Um, and personally for me, uh, I'm water, about to our dive water has in. Many names. We love water. It's really hard to make in games. Um, I'm about to dive combat, in. Some of the things you're able to do with vehicles in the water, I think that level of immersion is really going to speak to fans and has been something that I've really enjoyed playing the last, uh, last couple months. Aquatic combat. Steph loves to swim. Um, yeah, Joe, sure can we can we go into some details about our water-based... Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I mean, last game we really wanted to add water yeah. and we knew we didn't have time, right? So in Verdance, we froze the rivers and we made the outskirts just to kill trigger. In this game, as soon as we started Modern Warfare 2, we leaned into water, both visually... Yo, yo, yo. Got the audio crisp, boy. Yo, Echo. Every the piece of equipment fine. yeah, has been love it. filtered, like how does it work through water? Like we had to look at everything in the game and say, how does it work in water? Our What's vehicles, the best version? Our vehicles will just slowly submerge <laughs> yeah. so really would, instead of blinking out. Yeah, everything, yeah, everything. a lot of details. The oh behaviors are awesome. Oh my god! Well, I cannot quite to uh, can't quite wait to literally haha, dip my toes into those wars. Uh, but guys, let's not forget about the ground and the air. Like, what else is going to be coming to the movement system, Joe? What have we got? Well, you know, last game we did mount um, and we had slide, and, and even though we're a military shooter, fluid movement is super important to us. So this game, as you saw in the trailer, you can see here on the video, we have a new ledge hang mechanic, and that's essentially a high mantle. But instead of doing a high mantle and throwing yourself up over into combat, you can now peek. If you have a pistol, you can pull that pistol out and use that. Um, we also added a dive. You know, last game we had the slide that kept your gun up, but we really wanted players to have an option where if they're getting shot at, they don't know where they're getting shot at, they can get down, get out of fire. But the other really cool thing is the dive's just high enough to let you get through a window. And so if you throw a grenade up into a building, second story, often you'll see players, you know, like rats leaving a ship, diving out through the windows. <laughs> and uh, it's just another, it's another option for players in, in combat. Yeah, and all of these dynamic movements mean you can interact with vehicles specifically in a very cool way. I'm yeah. gonna save uh, some of that some of that gas for when we get to Warzone 2.0, but uh, it's a really exciting. All right, vehicle details to come. Uh, but now, guys, let's talk about equipment. Obviously, Call of Duty, crazy sandbox, a lot of cool toys to play with. Uh, Joe, what are some of the new dynamite new items that we're going to be throwing at each other and equipping and using in all sorts in the next game? I mean, you saw some cool stuff in the trailer. You saw the drill charge. You saw the shock stick. Um, one of the other cool ones you saw is the inflatable decoy. And this is a mine that you can throw out, and it basically sits there. And if a player gets close to it, it auto deploys and uh, basically inflates like a, like a car airbag going off. <laughs> And it Let's faces go. the person that triggered it. And so it's a great distraction technique. You can also fire it off with a, yeah, with a that it sounds you nice control when it goes off. You can throw it in water. And here you just saw the, the get it DDoS. Sound better. We added all this equipment into this game. And the DDoS is our, our kind of answer of like, hey, I'm going to breach this building. I want to go clean house, but I don't want to deal with all the shit inside. So I'm going to hit the DDoS. Boom, it's going to shut down Perfect everything. And I can move in yeah, and clear that room. Um, you saw the heartbeat sensor is back. It's got a new look. Uh, but it also has a battery as a balancing mechanic, so you can't use it indefinitely in Warzone. 
Um, and there's, I mean, there's this so This is the TAC more. cam, too, which yeah. you guys yeah. just saw, which to me is um, my personal favorite. You can put out a lot of them, and yeah. even you can patch into your teammates. So you can, <laughs> it gets a little crazy. Yeah, kind of like a sticky GoPro, but what oh. actually mark your enemies for um, your team. Yeah. So it's, it's, I, I expect to see a lot of fun There's so many, with that today. There's <laughs> so many toys and new tools that we're like, we just want players to get in and play with. I think there's something like 13 field upgrades, you know, between Warzone and Core MP, and it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Oh my God. Until they all get DDoS. Ha ha ha. All this talk about equipment, uh, it reminds me, I mean, that's one element to look at now, but we've also got Gunsmith, brand new Gunsmith. Uh, guys, what can you tell me about it and, and how will it change the way that we, you know, level our weapons and manage them? I mean, what's going on there? Yeah, so the new Gunsmith allows players to build out their weapons more smoothly than ever before. We we put out some videos yesterday for the Intel drop. I hope people Let's dig go. into those if you Thanks, want a better look Thanks, at Gunsmith 2.0. But we're really looking at unprecedented opportunities for weapon customization. And the new weapon platforming will actually allow players to unlock universal attachments through cross progression. So we saw a lot of really positive feedback from the community yesterday. This is sort of intended to, you know, decrease the grind. You're no longer unlocking every single attachment for every single weapon. There will be some shared attachments through progression. And um, I'm really excited to see the streamers and the content creators jump into this today. Um, I know I know we all love the gun bench from 2019, so it's exciting. Yeah, this does sound amazing. Uh, so we've been hearing uh, a little bit about weapon platforms and shared attachments. This is very, very cool stuff. Can you dive into those details though, Jeremy? What can we expect? Yeah, I can add a little bit of what, to what Stephanie said. Um, we had this vision last game with Gunsmith, and we, we were like, okay, what if you could take an assault rifle and you could make it an SMG? And that was our driving kind of like motivator for that system. And we kind of hit that. We, you, could, you could take it functionally through attachments, but the weapon name wouldn't change, and we couldn't change the receiver. And really, that's the key thing this game, is you can go into Gunsmith, you can set up an AK-47 assault rifle with a thermal optic, with a suppressor, with a grip, and then you can say, you know what, I want to change up the play style of this gun. You can swap out the receiver to the AK-74U, make it an SMG, but you can keep that optic, that suppressor, that grip, they all come with. And to what Stephanie said, we have shared attachments within these platforms. We have branching progression. You unlock those guns by playing with other guns. And then we have shared attachments across all guns. And it's all to hit this vision of I'm building up an arsenal of weapons and an arsenal of attachments. I'm sitting down to my gun bench, and I'm going to make the perfect weapon for me. I think the maybe the simplest way to think about it is this, is a gun tree, and each time uh, you hit a branch, uh, that's a receiver, and they and they grow out of that. Yeah. Yeah, and that's you know we wanted to ground that in reality. The re functionally a receiver, you know, is is based in that changing the weapon type, and I think it provides a really seamless experience for players looking to build out the perfect weapon for a multitude of play styles. So you're going to be able to jump into that platform and customize however you want for, you know, situational combat. And um, you're actually going to see the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault in action today, which is the entirely unlocked Platform 1, the M4, the Mic 4. And the Weapon Vault maintains its aesthetic properties across all corresponding attachments. So we've heard you talk about the Franken print. This is our answer. It's an extremely rare. Um, this is a huge, you know, project for, for our teams to design these, but um, it is the ultimate weapon blueprint. And even better, you can unlock the entire Cinder Weapon Vault with the Vault Edition of Modern Warfare 2. Okay. Playable and beta. Available in the beta, so we can rock with that thing all weekend long. Okay, so Gunsmith looks incredible. Uh, okay, I'm excited. I cannot wait to get into this one soon. Our streamers are going to get into this one soon as well. Uh, but first, guys, we need to hear about Let's maps go. and modes. We've got our tools to play with, equipment, weapons, maps and modes, though. Let's get into this one. Uh, let's get into uh, the design team, you know, the philosophy, uh, I suppose, behind building out maps. Ask me, Jeff, this is for you. Um, yeah, you know, right from the start, we knew we wanted to build a big, another big map, um, not only for Battle Royale, but also for this other mode that we've been working on for uh, quite a long time. <laughs> um, I read about that on the internet. Ah, yeah. yes. <laughs> but, you know, when, when you lay out these big maps, you, it's kind of a collection of all these little POIs, these points of interest. And um, within each of these, we've really fine-tuned that they can play core, large-scale core modes, like Ground War, um, and a bunch of others um, really well. And so, you know, stepping back from this large map and looking at how much open world sandboxy gameplay that we have, we looked back at our 6v6 maps and really tried to refine and uh, make them a tighter experience to contrast all this big world um, kind of exploratory gameplay 
So the maps uh, for 6v6, um, in comparison to the last game, they're just um, a little bit more straightforward, a little bit more refined, and um, I think fans will really enjoy how um, quick they play. That sounds... A lot of diversity in those maps as yeah. well. A lot of visual variety, some colorful maps in there, and um, they, I think they, they feel really clean. Guys, you're moving me in ways I didn't imagine to be moved today. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Cry? I might. <laughs> hey, hey, it's the first time for okay. here on, on air. Uh, we've got some of the maps that we are going to be seeing in MW2. Uh, starting with one, uh, we've got a real fun one here, guys. This is one of the aforementioned battle maps. Uh, team, can you give me some details on Sarif Bay? So Sarif Bay is this little fishing town um, in the south coast of our big map. And it, we picked this because it has such a great mix of gameplay. Uh, it's right on a harbor, so we get to show off all our boats and our new amphibious um, APC. Um, and, you know, swimming, as we've already said. Um, but what you get inside the town... That's it. Really the trailer was sick, wasn't it? I was watching on Twitch, and I saw you, you were live. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mixed yeah, with yeah. our ledge hang, you get these really cool parkour I'm combat definitely ready. Um, uh, action happening. Parkour. Yeah, I love how you describe the uh, the rooftops there on this map specifically as like a separate ecosystem. You can kind of migrate that entire vertical. You can go up there yeah. and just hang out and fight other snipers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that looks fantastic. Jeff, okay, so that's one of our larger maps. Uh, what about some of the 6v6 maps? I think we have uh, we have some footage of one of the new maps that we're going to be seeing today uh, named Mercado Las Almas. Uh, do you mind giving us some details on this one? Sure. Mercado is, um, is a uh, little street market in a historic section in Mexico. Um, our story behind this is, uh, you know, the authorities have some intel that uh, narcotics are being smuggled out of a warehouse and they're going in trying to um, find and seize them. Um, this map plays really fast and a lot of action right down that center lane. Um, the Mercado is a very dangerous uh, neck of the woods, so watch out when you're uh, playing in the beta. It plays fast. <laughs> Cannot wait, really cannot wait. Looks fantastic. And again, uh, interesting to see uh, you know, how that ties into campaigns and whatnot. All sorts of fun and games wink, ahead wink. of us. Looks amazing. Battle maps, core maps, 6v6. All this looks fantastic. Uh, but let's go back to modes. We've seen some maps. Uh, what about the modes being played on battle maps? Uh, we will have the return of Ground War, uh, but we've got a new large scale mode that you've uh, alluded to, right? Let's talk Invasion. So Invasion is, it's a, it's a big war map. It's like, it's a big war TDM, or we affectionately call it the, the shipment of ground war. Um, it's 20 v 20 players, but there's also 20 AI on each team. Uh, AI are coming in fast roping, they're coming in on medium birds. Um, and it's this high action mode. It's super fun, but it's also really chill. The announcer's not barking at you. He's not saying like, hey, get to B, you know, they're taking C. <laughs> you can kind of play it how you want to play it. You sit up on a rooftop and snipe. You can grab a shotgun and go room clearing. If you push too far into the enemy's base, AI will come hunt you. Uh, but we've also been really um, conscious of where we put AI in multiplayer. Um, we didn't put AI in kill streaks or anything like that because we don't want AI showing up in search and destroy. We don't want AI in domination. This mode though, however, was built for AI, and it's a super fun mode. Can't wait for people to try it. Kind of a funny aside, you know, we took the name Ground War from a playlist in MW2, and that was just large-scale TDM and DOM, and we kind of did the DOM in the last game, um, and now we're able to add kind of the sandbox TDM, and so we're kind of completing the cycle of that um, that old playlist. Yeah. yeah. Well, this large-scale stuff looks amazing. This looks so, so awesome. And uh, Okay, so what about the new 6v6 modes? Just keep dialing it in closer and closer. Steph, what have we got? Yeah, so we also have two new 6v6 modes that you're going to be seeing here to played today, um, and they will be in beta, in Prisoner Rescue and Knockout. Prisoner Rescue, okay, let's go into Prisoner Rescue first, Judge. So Prisoner Rescue is an attack and defend mode. It's a round-based mode. The defenders have two prisoners. They're kind of spread out, and they need to, to keep hold of them. The goal of the attackers is to get to those prisoners, pick them up, and carry them to exfil. Um, when you pick them up, you enter what's called a wounded carry, where they're up on your shoulders and you can't use your primary weapons. Instead, you have to use a pistol if you brought it, or you're just stuck with fists. But the way that we give the attackers an advantage once they grab that prisoner is they get a radar sweep for their team, so they can call out where the defenders are, um, and the objective icon over the prisoner goes away as soon as they scoop them up. So now the defenders have to basically rotate back to the exfil and set up defensive positions. And it's this heart-pounding, adrenaline-pushing like mode once you grab that prisoner and try and get them out. Um, yeah, that, it's, that hero run yeah. to the exfil <laughs> is... Um, Definitely, yeah. uh, you know, S and big S and D energy in this mode, um, which I resonates with me in my time in esports. So this is my personal favorite of the new ones, and um, also sort of the strategic revives that happen 
happen. Really there is a revive oh, mechanic, okay. and so you're already able to to pick up your teammates. And um, I've seen some pretty pretty wild comebacks in our playtest so far. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we got to play a ton of it yesterday. It was amazing, incredibly fun. And I know the community is going to love diving into it over the next week. Okay, I can hardly believe that there's actually a lot more content to get through, but there's one more thing I have to bring up. I have the honor of officially announcing that third person view is finally coming to Modern Warfare 2. Uh, what are the details behind this one? We got a little teaser of it uh, on, on stage from Patro, but what are the details? Yeah, you saw a little hint of it in the trailer too. Um, it's It's been a pet project for us, right? We've always wanted to do third person and all what we're working on all this other stuff we've been kind of lifting up and doing third person in each mode and the cool thing is that it's a modifier on our game right we can just turn on third person in the beta we're playing it in hardpoint but we want to try it post launch in snd we want to try it in vr um, and we have you know camera work the camera collision's been reworked uh, it handles tight spaces there's a water camera there's an interior camera you can feel the weapon shake when you're firing with it and it's just we've put a lot of work into it and we're excited for people to give it a try incredible i can't wait to see what third person cod feels like in 2022 sexy skins and everything this is a lot of information steph like we've, there's a ton here i tried to warn you they were delivering <laughs> a lot of new features for you guys to try out ahead of release um and i said we were going to be bold with this beta and we are but there's even more to come at launch so this is just a taste how is this just a taste how can there be even more <laughs> i mean we haven't even got to warzone yet. Even, okay <laughs> okay so what about uh, this year's third mode so I'm happy to say that Special Ops will return as our third mode and will be focused on two-player missions, asymmetrical in game design. So think one player on air support, one player on the ground. And um, I think the OG fans will be really excited because we've looked at, you know, some of the iconic Modern Warfare missions like Overwatch and, and really tried to um, implement some of those themes into the design so uh we'll be talking more about special ops in the uh in the months to come steph you're saying i should be looking uh now for a special ops partner sitting right next to you yes you are indeed well i'm all set then stephanie i do believe we have one more uh surprise for playstation players out there what's that indeed we do let's uh roll the clip <laughs> Empty-handed, I was born. Empty-handed, I will ascend. Blade or bullet, fist or bow. Spear, stone or arrow, these are merely tools. I am the one to fear. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, appreciate that big like in the chat, man. We just telling everybody and watch this. PlayStation players will What's receive an exclusive operator only, only as a drop, warrior and whatever. for hire, descended from centuries uh, old samurai clan and torn between country and family, just like me. Uh, this is such an awesome looking operator, guys. Only is going to be playable on day one for all who pre ordered through the PlayStation Store. Plus, he comes with a high level weapon blueprint playable in multiplayer and Warzone 2.0. Steph, badass. Oni is awesome. I myself am a PlayStation player, and so I will be locking becoming Oni main day one for this game. Um, and it's been really awesome to see our narrative team building out his lore, really bringing this operator to life with the creation of his backstory, his motives. And I think um, the art team absolutely crushed it with this skin. He is so, so cool looking. <laughs> all right, Stephanie, we keep talking about all the uh, the things that you know we have to look forward to, but um, we are missing quite a big one here. We're missing the start of the beta. So for anyone who wants to get an early first-hand look at Modern Warfare 2, and trust me, you definitely want to, it is immediately available around the corner. For PlayStation players who pre-order any version, early access to the open beta starts tomorrow. So make sure you are preloading right now. Now also check out your screens, <coughs> since here's exactly when you can play the beta on your platform of choice. But don't forget, friends, it's also definitely worth noting that if you pre-order the Vault Edition of Modern Warfare 2, you get to use the red Team 14 
for one operator pack and the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault in the beta in addition to being able to earn in-game rewards for playing all sorts of cool swag. And don't forget that if you digitally pre-order Modern Warfare 2, you also get up to a week early of campaign access. So wait, campaign a week early. All right, folks. Early. I hope you enjoyed that first look at Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. Don't forget, you're going to get to see it live and in action in a few short minutes with our crazy set of streamers here, 200 plus here and ready to rock and roll. But first, we'll be right back to show off the world premiere of Warzone 2.0. Don't go anywhere. Call of Duty Next, brought to you by Mountain Dew, official drink of Modern Warfare 2. Little Caesars, a proud partner of Call of Duty Next and Modern Warfare 2. HyperX, official peripheral partner of Call of Duty. <sighs> Play like a pro on the big screen with 144Hz VRR and AMD FreeSync, now on TCL 6 Series TVs. Prime Gaming. Visit gaming.amazon.com today and start claiming your free content. This is about to be a classic. We have 200 creators here on site, marching down the green carpet with one mission in mind, to be the first players to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This one you gonna have to And there is so much in this game. There is almost too much. This is like one of those days where I enter and my hopes are so high. And what are you looking forward to most when it comes to Warzone 2? Prisoner Rescue. I'm looking forward to using that inflatable soldier decoy to mess a lot of players. Kill streaks, I think. I'm honestly here just to learn as much as I can to prep for old net of optic because those guys are very old now. So maybe some OG maps coming back. A map that everyone can play. Honestly, give me a broken shotgun. <laughs> What's your favorite game mode and Mountain Dew flavor combo? Search and destroy code red. Capture the flag code red. If I'm going hard with the boys on a long night of SD and I'm trying to get some nasty in game comms, I'm drinking Baja Blast all night. <laughs> Terminal or high rise? Easy terminal. Ooh, terminal. Most people have terminal nostalgia. Terminal. Terminal. 100%. I just replayed that recently and I realized that spawn trapping is horrendous. Easy. Strike. High rise. High rise. Terminal. What's your favorite flavor of Mountain Dew? I've grown up on Code Red, so it's still Code Red for me. Honestly, I like the basic one, just Mountain Dew itself. Man, I was going to pick Code Red too. Can I get a second one? All right. Baja Blast. Baja Blast is good as Starting October 17th, Baja Blast. unlock dual double XP, COD points, and also an exclusive Mountain Dew skin in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 when you buy specifically marked Mountain Dew. That's our favorite Mountain Dew in the chat. you kidding me? Is you kidding me? Ripping everything in the beginning of the show. Welcome back to Call of Duty Next. The Mountain Dew green carpet. God damn, it was beautiful. A lot of fun people out there. Everyone having a good time. And uh, some incredibly well-dressed people out there. And some definitely not. Sweaty t-shirts abound. But here we go. Welcome back to Call of Duty Next, friends. We promised it was coming up. And now the wait is over. It is time to talk about Warzone 2.0. We got a glimpse of some Warzone 2.0 in the multiplayer, oh, yeah, multiplayer trailer earlier today. God, and it does bro, look awesome. Blast. However, we need some true experts to help out. Back at the desk here. Hey, you remember back in the day they had that blue? Got his joining us, but of course, oh, no, that blue Jack of Horror, game director. At Infinity Ward. Joe, how are we feeling? We're ready to party here. I mean, this is a, this is a lot. We need to know everything. Warzone 2.0. Stephanie, the world cannot wait. <laughs> it, it it feels crazy for me to be up here revealing Warzone 2.0. I ended up at IW as a fan of the game, and so this moment is absolutely the bananas vote. for me. But Warzone 2.0 is everything that we loved about the original Warzone. Right? Bob, it, 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 it's based the pineapple birds on though. the same experience I ain't that we all had. That that fun yeah, I'm ready to vote. moments that and vote. It's, a, it's a return to shared tech vote. across the universe for modern Even warfare yeah, 2 yeah, and that's, that's going to create a day. really streamlined player experience and um i think the key innovations that we discussed for multiplayer those all exist across warzone 2.0 as well so we're we're bringing it back it's all connected he said i'm pre-ordering this motherfucker right now i think i'm gonna pre-order it too but i don't need to real excited about this one uh God, again there's a lot in this one jack uh, where do we go from here? <laughs> so MW2 and Warzone 2 have been developed side by side since the beginning, right? Since we started down this road, and they're part of the same universe. Like Stephanie said, they share the same mechanics, the same weaponry, and even more than that. But the centerpiece of all this, of course, is the new map that we've been working on since 2020 with teams across the globe. Um, it brings together our philosophies on map design. It brings together new technologies in order to do it, and lots and lots of artwork to make it happen. 
And we've learned so much from players experiencing Verdansk and playing in Verdansk over the, the first few years of Warzone. And we're really excited them for them to land in Al Mazra with their squad. You don't got to pre-order for the beta. There's a points of interest for don't, players don't who are scoring this map. The beta and we're really free. looking forward to seeing everybody in there. Oh, here we go. A brand new map to explore and traverse. I cannot wait. Stephanie, let's take a look. That's right, Miles. Welcome to Al Mazra. This is our new map for Warzone 2.0. It is a really interesting mix of geography. It is expansive desert settings with a mix of industrial areas, towns, a city, and There's of gold. course, water. No it hills. looks way better on the screen than it did on Twitter. <laughs> it only got one hill of <laughs> um, But you're gonna find one really cool elevation, rocky peaks, caves, subterranean spaces. This map is beautiful, and it's actually the biggest BR map that we've ever made. And um, I am so excited for all of our streamers here to jump into Al Mazra later today. It's huge. Look at the size of that thing. Uh, cool. Okay, so that was a big picture, and it's a great way to see it from a sort of top-down layout. But uh, let's take a better look at some of these points of interest. Uh, so see. when we set out to create these spaces, the team works to make well, it I feel like, like a real space, right? So that there's infrastructure in between all the different, what we I call like points this. of interest. Along Why? And if you're paying Let's attention, go. you might even see a few that seem pretty familiar out there as well. Um, they brought so quarry. As the team works through these, they're trying to find some variety of like each uh, point of interest to I make like them, them something that the player will drop in and get the particularity of that single point of interest and find the place that they want to draw and where they want to play. And they brought back the old, the old team map. Observatory at the center of the map, whether it be the big city that's at the top right and whether they want to explore that or whether they want to work in some of our POIs where we have water intersecting with, ju with geometry here. Airport so back, let's one, go. Uh, oh, OG! Familiar. Oh, G! <laughs> um, and there's a river system. Yeah, I also know about that this. kind of so real. Oh, G! POV, man. Village back. Sawa Village, which is. That's my favorite. Colloquially yeah. called Sunken Town. I mean, I love to swim, so you find me there. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm curious what you guys think, Jack and oh, yeah. Joe, on listening. what the hot drop is today, right? We've they been, been talking listening. about this last couple days. This is our first time seeing other people who are not us play Warzone 2.0 and so I'm just very curious where you think everyone's gonna immediately drop today. I, I, I think so they're gonna drop to observatory just to go. go yeah I'm excited too about them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they're it, coming home. It's always nice you move into the map and you kinda hit you a can spot tell they, like, they, they, they've been I they've been listening bro they've been listening <laughs> of all these flashbacks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's a lot of nuggets in there for some old uh, Modern Warfare reason, fans. Yeah, I'll say Corey. I think yeah. that's going to pop off. I think people will land around the edge so they stay in as long as possible in this match. But oh, smart. We have some news for our edge of the map players yes. coming up. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, the map looks absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to watch our streamers here uh, drop in early in an alpha build later on today. Okay, so moving on to the gameplay. Uh, we've got this beautiful space to play in. How do all of these multiplayer elements we've talked about a little bit earlier, how do they fit into Warzone 2.0? I mean, the super simple answer is all the stuff we talked about in multiplayer, the stuff you saw in the multiplayer trailer, that's all in Warzone, right? It's all integrated. So that tactical camera works in Warzone. That decoy mine works in Warzone. Like, it's all of it's been built from the ground up for both. The slide, the dive, the water, like. More swimming. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is a great taste of some of the water combat. Yeah, they oh, did. I can't wait to go full Captain Mill. You know, Apocalypse Now coming out of the water, knife and people, oh, and it just, just looks. Yeah, the rendering team made some work, so you come out, you're looking all wet. Yeah. yeah. See the caustics on the bottom. Yep. I, I'm not even sure what caustics oh. are. I, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, but it sounds great, and it looks incredible. <laughs> you can see the armored patrol boat coming by there with its yep. two turrets. It's There's some cool stuff. So I'm glad you brought up vehicles. Uh, Steph, you touched on vehicles a little bit earlier. What can we talk about? Uh, you know, we've seen boats, we've seen tanks, we've seen all sorts, Jack. What have we got? So we've implemented a new physics and handling model for the vehicles. So some vehicles are heavier, some will slide more, have more traction or less traction. And as you're driving them around and you're encountering them and other squads are playing with them, you can choose to shoot off the tires to kind of impact their handling. You can have them, re they react to explosive differently based on their weight. So if you're in a heavy armored 4x4 and get hit by an RPG, it's going to kind of bounce a little bit, but not quite take the hit as a small sedan. Um, you can also choose with your squad to be rolling into a POI and somebody jumps out on the roof, somebody leans out the window, and suddenly you get yourself a lot of firepower driving into the POI. Of course, that vehicle needs to survive for quite some time in the map if you want to keep using it to go from point to point. 
um, and vehicles will run out of gas, or at least most of them will. Oh, um, that was the last thing. And see then uh, you can bring them to a gas station to fill them up. If your tire has been blown up, you can get out and repair it, or you can bring it to a gas station to get repaired as well. Oh and of course, we've got you know water vehicles. We've got a small boat. We've got the boat that Joe mentioned with the turret with at the, the turret. front, turret at the back. So you can have that little moment cruising up the river with your whole squad ready to rumble. Um, so yeah, there is so much love that's gone into these you vehicles. Forgot the this coolest game. vehicle. The coolest the, vehicle. The massive helicopter the that you can fly big, around. And it's a big, big platform with three doors. Hey, Riley was special ops. I don't remember that. havoc. It is so cool. Oh my god. I what? mean, the fact that you can lean out of the window, you know, yep. grab your teammates, pile in a vehicle, actually, you know. Do, Engage in yep. battle from the window, leaning out, shooting unless, some, combat. unless somebody blew off your door. That won't. Uh, that, that, cool. that does complicate that's things. That's PT PTSD from uh, Joe killing me many times in our play tests. <laughs> well, I hope the uh, gas prices in our Mars are okay. I thought there's a lot going on in Warzone 2.0, and uh, my head is quite frankly spinning. Uh, what other massive changes um, have we got in store? Because it feels like there's a uh, there's so much has changed. Is it still a gulag? Do we still have circles? Is it still gas? I know there are guns, but do we shoot them? What's happening? Well, what do you want to jump into first? Oh, Sammy, you go ahead. Go, go. We've made some pretty sweeping changes, I think, to the high-level components of, of Warzone 2.0 to continue providing players with both a dynamic and rewarding VR experience. But Warzone 2.0, you're going to hear it over and over again today. It's about fun. This is about playing with your friends, having fun, you know, friends new and old. Maybe you're making them in Let's games. Let's go! And I think one particular feature that I cannot wait to see the streamers <laughs> Engage with will be our prox chat. Yes. Uh, so it's coming. It will be in Warzone, and I, 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 there is going to be some amazing clips. <laughs> but um, I think Joe can uh, tell us a little bit more about looting in, about looting. in Warzone 2.0. I'm, I'm listening to that. The streamers yeah, love prox chat. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yes. <laughs> um, you know. In looting in um, Warzone 2.0, we still have the humming crates. You know, you can still travel around and listen for those. We still have the loose loot on the ground, but we wanted to add a layer of learnability and and logic to our looting, right? So if you if you're outside, if you're a little kid, you fall down, you hurt your knee, and your mom's gonna go inside, go to the medicine cabinet, and get you something to a band-aid, neosporin, or whatever. So that's our looting. If you're if you need <laughs> health items, you can hit a bathroom in a building, and there'll be a medicine cabinet. You can open it up. Um, if you want to get loadout items, um, there are these hidden caches throughout in between the POIs that are in ground and you can memorize where they are because they're always there. So you can kind of start to develop these paths through the map of how you loot. And there's this logic applied to looting. You know, you can find toolboxes that will have grenades and things in them. Um, and you find these other crates that are kind of like, it's as if the, the military that occupied the space came through and dropped off military items. Those crates are always there. So you can always have this reliable layer to looting. Incredible, uh, this sounds really exciting. We go on a road trip through our Mazarin, quite literally like have a, a route we planned, hit the gas, gas station, up, yeah. gas snacks. up, yeah, pick up snacks, pick up ammo and all sorts. Okay, cool. So what about circle mechanics? I mean, this is obviously uh, a huge component of VR's joke. Yeah, I mean, the circle's been a staple of BRs. It's been really hard yeah, to move away from it. So we kind of talked about what could we do to mix things up with the circle. So we've got this new mechanic where the circle can actually split, almost like a cell splits, into two, three, or even four circles. And then those circles kind of close down. And what it does is it segregates teams, and you have these micro battles in those circles. And at a certain point, you're like, OK, we've cleared out our circle. We think we're good. And then those circles merge. They come back together. And you know you have this very directed fight of like, as the circle's moving, you're like gearing up in buildings. You're like, here we go. It's about to kick off. And as soon as those they circles hit, you have that yeah, final fight. So it's another kind of like twist in the gameplay that we feel like is a cool yeah, we'll world event that would happen. Like, oh, the circle's splitting. We need to do X. Crazy. Get in the car. Oh, we're going now! Go! All right, so apart from, from the circle split, uh, what about the Gulag? Is that still around? I mean, there's so much change, man. I mean, I'm ready for it, but Joe, where are we going? The Gulag, you know, we've been experimenting with, we've tried some crazy things with the Gulag. <laughs> but the, the, the current version of the Gulag that we, we have running right now, where we're excited people to play, is you're not in there alone. You actually have this temporary That's alliance with another now, opponent oh, yeah. in the map, and you guys, you have to work together, and if you can defeat the other team, you can get out. And after that, you guys are enemies again. But for that moment, it's like, all right, we need each other. Let's do this. You use the proximity chat to talk to each other. <laughs> And the other thing we've been playing around with is you may see a little bit of an AI presence in the gulag. So you kind of you have to be on your toes. Like you're working with an enemy, there might be an AI here. You're picking up weapons. Um, we're excited what? for people to try it. And, and yeah, we're gonna get feedback today too. Yeah. And and like oh, Joe said, we, we've been through some pretty wild iterations of the but gulag, which I will not reveal here. Yeah. But uh, 
there's there's a lot in the store. Is it about a PC? <laughs> uh, there certainly is a lot in store. Um, Jack, I have heard uh, of a new concept coming to Warzone 2.0 called Strongholds. That will include AI that may impact how players get their weapons, etc. Uh, uh, can you clue oh, me into what that's all about? Well, 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 you you buy the Absolutely. Go um, so Strongholds are reinforced buildings that the AI is occupying inside That's what I told my hobby. Like, I'm playing. I told my hobby. And the players can choose whether or not they want to engage with them and assault them to get cool rewards, including free weapons. Which is one of the the new yeah, ways cool. that we're adding for players to get their it's hands the on their best weapon. The right um, we've worked really hard to it's bring AI right into right at that scale that into Warzone right 2, and you're going to encounter them in multiple uh, modes in a different way. In BR that. specifically, they're in these strongholds, and if you get to a Bands. stronghold, you can find the location of a black Bands. site, which is going to have even cooler stuff in it, yeah. and you can fight your way from one to the next. Um, oh, but in I'm other modes, you're going to find the AI occupying large portions of the map and just kind of protecting different POIs. Give me two racks along oh, right. oh, Okay, oh, so we've all heard the rumors well, that I got news play words on is food. going to have some very, very interesting new modes. Uh, would you care to you confirm or want? deny Stephanie Snow? It's finally time. <laughs> I right, heard about watch some new Let's modes go. on the internet recently, <laughs> but one of the most exciting things about Warzone 2.0 is God, confirmation I that an all-new sandbox experience is coming at launch. I am happy to announce DMZ. Call of Duty's extraction mode will arrive with Warzone 2.0 at launch later this year. I played DMZ for the very first time on my first day at IW, and to this day, playing it nonstop, the possibilities with this game mode blow my mind. So DMZ. I can also confirm that DMZ is real. <laughs> but we're not going to go into depth on it today because we do have to keep some stuff in reserve. What I can tell you, though, is we've created a rich sandbox where you can define your own win condition. You infiltrate Al Mazra, you accomplish your goals, and then you decide to extract when the time is right. It is played across the whole map, up, and the AI is occupying large sections of the map, and they are lethal opponents, and they do command your respect. You have to watch out for them. You have to work with your team. They patrol areas, they occupy strongholds, and they'll reinforce based on players' actions. And then in on top of all this, you can choose which mission you want to accomplish, or you can chase after a variety of, of activities in the world. And you can play this differently depending on your playstyle. You can go loud, like I always do. You can go quiet. Or you can hunt other players or avoid them entirely. Or you could just decide, hey, I'm going to explore the secrets of Almazra and see what's there. Loot up, exfil. It's, it's, it's totally up to player choice there. And, um, Let's go! I'm, I'm really excited about the full scale of what we're delivering for this chapter. And we want players to have an amazing experience in Warzone 2.0. Let's go! We've been listening to the conversations in the community, specifically around small maps. Ricochet, anti-cheat, ranked play, and beyond. And trust me, although we're touching on some of the core updates to the overall Warzone 2.0 experience today, and mostly focusing on BR, there will be more news to share over the coming months. This is only the beginning for Warzone 2.0. Okay, I need Warzone 2.0 and DMZ in my life ASAP. Stephanie, when? Warzone 2.0 will be free to play that shit for to everyone on about? November the DMZ 16th. Mode? With the start of Season 1 across Modern Warfare 2. Mark your calendars, that's about two weeks uh, after <laughs> after Modern Warfare 2 launches. Um, and we had 125 million players in the He said the hack about to go dummy. So you think we're going to be hacking again? I can't see all of you and hopefully more of you in Almazra for this experience. Bro, hopefully they ain't hacking. If they hacking, I'm fucking and hacking. I don't give a chance to see fuck, a Warzone 2 Battle Royale Alpha. If some people hacking, I'm hacking. Why not? This. Very, very soon. Yeah, the streamers are hot to Yo, check. Yo, thank the home. Uh, we will see all of you on November 16th. But don't go anywhere just yet. Stick around, because when we come back, you'll see just what Warzone looks like when it's built up from the ground for mobile. You're not going to want to miss this, I promise. Then, after that, we have live gameplay coming at us with all of our friends set up across the each and every Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. We've got Warzone 2.0, Battle Royale, we're we're here, Warzone Rosie. Mobile. It's all happening here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy this year. Call of Duty Next, brought to you by the Next, GMC KP. Hummer EV Pickup, the world's first all-electric supertruck. Intel, built for the next generation of gaming. Squad up sooner with Xfinity Rewards. Get early access to Modern Warfare 2's open beta. Jack Lynx. If you got squad Xfinity, you can Sasquatch. get it beta. Jack Lynx is good with it. Oh, Jack Lynx. Eureka Ergonomic.
leading designer in gaming furniture and proud partner of Modern Warfare 2. That's what they said. They said you got expected you can get the beta. I think the beta gonna be free to everybody though. They said somebody Xfinity rewards, something like that. I don't know. He said I just got access and I pre-ordered. What system are you on, Tyler TG? Maurice. Hey, that's her name, Maurice. I can't keep saying Tyler TG every time. What a jam-packed day we've had here so far. We got Warzone 2.0 and Modern Warfare 2. Nah, they say you can dive. They say it's a new go. dive mode where you can finally, dive now. We're hitting something new here. Coming into mobile, we got Warzone Mobile 2 here for you. It's me, Beef Mommy, and I couldn't be more excited to be here with none other than Chris Plummer. And Chris, what do you have for us today? That's right. Today we are proud to introduce Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. Yeah. This is the real thing and it's on your phone. For the first time ever, you can drop into Call of Duty Warzone from wherever life takes you. Yeah, that's what they say. They got to die mode. Golf and die. I don't know. They say you can, clear window, so you can clear a window though. only going to get better. You can die. You can clear a window. So you want to peep out. You can recognize this drop sequence right away. I mean, that you going to have access tomorrow. So much that means you're going to have access tomorrow. Is that the legendary Verdesk? You know, this is where Warzone gameplay was born. And we're bringing the legendary Verdansk map to mobile for the very first time from its hallmark vistas in these dense urban areas. They're just so much fun to play in. Oh, everybody's gonna be on mobile. Ready for battle. If you wanna go to Verdansk, go to mobile. Combat environment. Y'all won't, y'all won't Verdansk, but go play mobile. It's famous for good reason. Teaming with fan favorite locations like Boneyard and Superstore, even TV stations. Hey, Guala, what console well, are you on, again, bro? Classic Call of Duty Warzone flashbacks here. Can you tell us more about the gameplay? Or, you know what, maybe just give me your phone real quick. Maybe I can see for myself. No? <laughs> you know, the team has a passion for delivering the most authentic Call of Duty experience possible for mobile devices. From the way you aim and move to the weapon handling and the control responsiveness, all these critical little details combine to make Call of Duty Warzone mobile feel best in class. Do I see new circles that lit? No, I had missed that part a little bit. The sights and sounds, all those essential little touches are smooth and accurate. It's about creating an experience that's so true to form, you can imagine feeling that dirt compressing under the soles of your boots with every move. Or imagine those tiny shock waves of recoil. He said, "Peep on my son's still look at my peep eye." Yeah, peep on peep eye. Yeah, the kind of details that we care about that make the combat feel airtight and authentic. That makes me really emotional, Chris. And you know, it sounds like everyone's paying attention to detail, and it's finally paying off. Now, when I think of Call of Duty Warzone, I think about strategy. Absolutely, there's a lot more going on than pure gunplay. For example, when you're out there exploring the map and evading the gas circle collapse, you can try to sneak up on another player and pull off a finishing move. It's like ultimate bragging rights. And if you're feeling more strategic, you and your squad, they can complete contracts, use that cash at buy stations. There's a ton of variety there, including lots of different abilities like bringing back a fallen squad mate. 
Now, that contract economy, it adds a ton of depth and strategy through risk and reward. He's a new circle of hearts, but I'm really three circles, like that you then two up. big because ass circles, then one circle. If you about risk and reward, I think yeah, about the kill streaks. I think about the gulag. Are they going to be hard. there too? Yes. <laughs> Everything you come to expect from Warzone, it's going to be there, especially kill streaks. This means you can deploy your big stick of choice, like, you know, a precision airstrike. You might be able to wipe out an entire squad with it. So not so fortunate for them, but they're not necessarily down for the count either because we have the gulag. So here players can fight for a second chance. So when you go down, you get to fight one on one with another down player, and you can earn your way back into battle. Kyle Moe looks lit. That ain't brought very nice to Kyle Moe. On a truly massive scale, unlike anything we've ever played on mobile before. For this reason, we're pushing way past the envelope on high player counts to make sure each match is jam-packed with our signature style of combat. So we are supporting up to 120 live players in the single match. Wait, 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 hold on. Did you just well, say 120 like players? Or do you mean bots? Because it seems like in Battle Royale games on mobile, they're usually loaded up with boring bots. Well, we believe it's critically important and a lot more fun to play with real, live, human opponents. And that is our focus. So for anyone who's tired of playing with nothing but bots, we hear you. We're talking up to 120 real players ready to hunt you down with real human skill and real human emotions. That is Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And we hear you in the crowd. Everyone's excited, and absolutely, it is huge. Play the goddamn and I don't game. Think there's a game on mobile that can top that in terms of real player count, of course. But how are you able to even pull that off? We can support real player counts at dramatically higher scale than we've ever seen in other battle royale games on mobile, because Warzone Mobile is running on advanced, unified Call of Duty technology. This is the same shared tech behind the console and PC versions of Warzone 2.0. It gives us a ton of advantages, like these incredibly high player counts, authentic Call of Duty combat and gameplay systems, and it opens the door to a much more connected experience across all platforms. So when you say more connected, does that mean that Warzone Mobile will share content and features that will be in the console and PC version of they Warzone? They know too much about this console mobile Exactly. Delivering a deeply mobile. connected experience, it's been a strategic pillar from the beginning of development. Now, we know that your time is precious, and your investment in playing is now recognized across Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0, and Warzone Mobile. Okay, so can we see the game? So wherever yeah. you're yeah, playing Call of Duty, okay. it is time well spent, including on mobile. Even your friends list and chat are shared across platforms, so you can stay in touch with your friends, whether they're playing on console or PC or mobile, wherever they choose to play. I mean, that is so exciting. I totally get that. Now, one of the coolest benefits of having this kind of connectivity is that Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is loaded up with the same authentic Call of Duty weapons and operators you'll recognize from Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0. And whatever you get from the Battle Pass, you will see it on console or PC. It'll also be there on your mobile device too. And the other way around works as well. I really love to hear that. And as a matter of fact, I saw some of the same weapons and operators being shown earlier today in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. Are you aiming to make it exactly the same on all platforms? You know, that's a great question. See, the team's incredibly excited about how deeply connected and authentic the experience is in Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And we'll continue to yeah, dive into the good job. I like the mobile. I like how they put the old oh, But at the same mold. time, we recognize uh, that mobile is a very unique platform. Yet, so mobile has it. its own flavor, advantages, and player expectations. Sounds like the game will be tied into the Call of Duty franchise pretty nicely. And will there be mobile specific events or content that is unique to Warzone Mobile? Yes. Above all else, the team is committed to ensuring Warzone Mobile is a world-class, mobile-first experience right down to its core. Controls are a huge part of it. It just needs to feel natural on the device, intuitive, and, you know, native to the platform. A lot of it comes down to tuning, and this is why we are supporting synchronous cross-play between iOS and Android platforms exclusively on mobile, and we're avoiding the imbalance that comes with cross-playing between mobile devices and consoles, or mobile to PC. This allows our teams to deliver the best possible mobile gameplay experience with a unified feel. And by doing this, we don't need to compromise the tuning for any platform. This ensures a level playing field and more fun for everyone.
Now, keeping those controls balanced for all player types, it's super important. So whether you're the hardest of hardcore mobile pros, or maybe you're a console first player that's sneaking in an extra match during your lunch break, even brand new players to the franchise who need a little help getting into the flow of the game, we are committed to providing the most robust control options anywhere yeah, that's for a pick-up and play experience that's shit, accessible bro. to all of our players. I love Nobody that accessibility, and that means all my friends can get in on the action for a change, but how do they sign up? <laughs> well, it's time to get your mobile devices ready, because I'm super excited to announce that starting right now, you can pre-register for your free download in the Google Play Store. Signing up means that you can be among the first to play when the game launches next year. We look forward to seeing everyone in Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. Hey, somebody uh, dropped Xbox Part 18 said, in the chat, so you can get We got Ferg on the horn, and I think he's literally the first one to pre-reg. Ferg? Hey guys, Ferg here, and I am thrilled to be one of the first to pre-register for Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And now, you can too. Scan the QR code at the bottom of the screen to be among the first to draw. Tell your friends because the more pre-registrations we drive, the more rewards we can earn, like special weapons, vinyls, and emblems. Plus, if we reach the top milestone of 25 million pre-registers, we're going to unlock a super cool secret reward you're not going to want to miss. What are you waiting for? Sign up using the QR code below. Let's go! We are back. It's Miles here, joined by Maven, Alicat, and Nameless Studio. What, what? Oh, guys, <laughs> the adults have left us alone on the desk, and now it's our time to have some fun. I don't know about you guys, but uh, okay, it's been a pretty litty day so far. Though. Yeah. Where do we even start? I mean, and, oh, dude, mobile, bro. It's a it's new it. era of Call of Duty. Listen, Miles, I've been addicted to Call of Duty for over a decade. You're telling me I could be in the airport playing Warzone now, back in for dance? That's lit. Also, Al Mazra, it looks absolutely incredible. Oh, it's insane. All right, there's no shortage of crazy stuff coming my way. Ali, yeah. I mean, lay it on me. Multiplayer for, Warzone, for, for Modern Warfare. Fair too insane. It's incredible. We actually got to load up with some of the players yesterday. That's coming out this year, right? Pre-test and loading into Gunsmith 2.0 was actually so aesthetically pleasing. And I think everybody at home, once they also get their hands on it, they're going to love it. Just the as much as here. Truly, uh, mate, go, my, good, my good friend, you've played more wars than most people on the northern hemisphere. Yeah, How you feel no, it? eight hours a day for years. It feels like it. It just seems fresh, man. The Ooh, map, like everything it. about it, triple circles, uh, the water, the that boats. I mean, that I was like kind of the proximity of mine king for a while there. But <laughs> other vehicles trying to blow them up and set booby traps and now you're telling me i could do them and not only land but also the sea i'm with it it's gonna be something we really have seen a lot so far today uh, we've seen what was a mobile course multiplayer there and uh, a bit of warzone 2.0 cannot wait but guys it's time to get into business let's now get into the command center this is it welcome ladies and gentlemen to the command center Hello. presented by xfinity rewards we're going to be rolling the show through all day today. Xfinity customers, they can start playing Modern Warfare 2 sooner with Xfinity Rewards. Visit xfinity.com slash rewards to get your code for early access to the open beta. It's free and it's easy to join. Guys, I mean, every time I sit down, I take a breather. I'm like, there's so much. But first and foremost, guys, before we get into this one, so many streamers here. We need to give yeah. a big shout out to Intel, who's powering all of the streaming PCs here today. Massive shout out to those guys. Clint, there are two PCs on every desk. Explain. I, I, I couldn't believe it. Cloxy is here. Like, the fact that he actually made the trip out, I figured they have to have something special. The fact that you have a dedicated PC to the streaming side and to the gameplay side, and it's set up for this many people, Intel, thank you. Ridiculous. This is incredible. It's incredible. Ridiculous. Uh, we're actually almost ready to get into the gameplay, guys. I mean, Ali, you teased it a little. Yeah, we just played, a little. We a little, yeah? We played a <laughs> tiny bit. I have an accent, too. She did. I'm getting mocked here. <laughs> <laughs> My bloody desk. We uh, we got to play a tiny bit yesterday. Yes. It was pretty fun. But uh, now we get to watch 200 streamers, uh, some of the world's finest, quite literally from almost every part yeah. of the planet, coming together here in this crazy top secret location. What can we expect? It's going to get loud. It's going to get <laughs> incredibly loud. Yesterday, it was loud. And I believe like not even everybody had shown up yet. So now right. that we have a full building of all of these creators, all of these PCs, I'm expecting people to get up and start screaming, Miles. It's going to be insane. Clint, we heard courage uh, from like headphones on. He can be heard from space. Oh, oh yeah, no, 100%. Like Bobby Pop, he's on a subtrain or something. Lord knows what that's going to sound like. But 
Twist, my boy, twist, my boy twist, Tyler twist. Blevins, Ninja here as well. <laughs> but like, I just, I, I think this is a testament to how pumped up everyone gets about oh, yeah. Call of Duty every yeah. year. Oh, yeah. Like the fact that there are this many big name streamers in attendance, we're going to see some incredible gameplay go through the various modes. I mean, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a real treat. It really is. I mean, and you've been around a long time in the Call of Duty world. In this venue right now, we've got streamers and players from, you know, all across North America, all, you know, South America. We've got players all over Europe, Japan, Australia, it's you wild. name them. We're all players, over here. Mobile everywhere. players everywhere. Yeah. What is, how do you describe the vibe in the room right now? I mean, it's just incredible. It's a bunch of homies who love Call of Duty all right. in one room oh, getting ready yeah. to grind. And, you know, I was talking to them earlier. I was walking around doing the round saying what up to everybody. They're going hard, right? Like, I was talking to some of the Warzone guys, Repulse. He's like, I'm here to fry. Zuma's ready to go. So well, I'm interested to see them with these new weapons and the gunsmith, what they come up with, especially our new game. I was like, Prisoner, it's going to be lit. Listen, as much as they're here for their love of Call of Duty, they're also here because they want that banger clip. Like, everybody oh, wants yeah, to, you, you know, like, you're trying to go out and fry some of these big names, get a clip out on social, your YouTube, whatever it's going to be. So yeah, I'm sure people are going hard in the paint or falling to their desk at their Tim. I'm sure we're going to have a couple of those. We'll go a little bit of that later on. I think we're actually ready to hop into gameplay. Dr. Lupo, one of our first here, and uh, he's already down and out, but we are playing, I believe this is Hardpoint and Mercado, nameless. Yeah, you know, I didn't get to play this map yesterday, but one thing I just want to point out with this game is it's a lot more vibrant than some of the MW yeah. games that we've had in the past. There's so many more colors, and that's something that I always enjoy, uh, especially with Call of Duty, is when it's more vibrant and you can see more on the map. I think sometimes you go dev to dev and yeah it's like you have like your more realism like your yeah. grays and brows some will have a little bit more color but like this map in particular yeah the second we saw like the fly through of this yeah I mean, it just looks gorgeous yeah. it really does oh and i'm not that i had any concerns about the visual side of it because they knock it out of the park every year but it's just aesthetically pleasing it is it's very, very pretty. That is, of course, Dr. Lupo. Uh, you can you can watch him stream this live. Uh, every single member of, of the of the crazy, I don't even have a name for it, the stream pit here, uh, called Next, all of them live on their own channels and unreal, man. Yeah, it's unreal. I mean, all these guys are going hard. You can see he's locked in. Uh, talk a little bit about the game and the movement, though. When I first hopped on yesterday, the movement felt so much different than Call of Duty's in the past. You know, it's not that slide cancel. You got to complete your slide. The dive mechanic, it plays out so much different. Uh, when you're going into a gunfight, you can dive out of a window. Miles, it was a lot of fun. We were getting into the mix. We really did get into the mix. I also, I'm going to tell this now on air in front of God knows how many people, but last night, Ninja wasn't in the venue. I played on his setup. He <laughs> wasn't quite here yet. And I found there is an in-game, like, whisper feed. So I was sending messages to other creators <laughs> as Ninja talking horrendous, <laughs> like horrendous, horrendous trash talk. All very good natured, friends of mine, you know, but I'd be kind of weird to get that from Ninja, right? <laughs> yeah, does yeah. Ninja know you did this? He has no idea. I walked so past, I walk up uh, no, and slap him. I walked past him today and I was like, good morning, dude. How you been? He's like, hey, man. Not yes, a single no word, yeah. Ali, not a word. But. Not a word. I actually I actually got into a game against you specifically. I was I was on, I believe, Nate Shot streaming account. I don't believe that he's here today, but I was I was getting disrespectful with some people <laughs> on the map. And I believe that you were in my last game, and the second I killed you, you left. I, oh, I remember hey, looking hey, at the hey. leaderboard and you That wasn't me, that was Ninja. A quitter. <laughs> a quitter, Miles. That was Ninja. Over to Courage now, he's having a, a good time. And uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he is, as much as he's like a fun, good loving, like everyone takes a jack, it's just like this great nature guy. He is one of those competitive human beings oh, I've ever met. Like he gets pissed, bro. Passion, raging passion. And look, it's me on the right hand side. No, it's not. It's <laughs> And I will have to say, with, to test to what Ant was talking about earlier, about the game mechanics, something else that I noticed that I don't feel like I felt in other Call of Duty games mm -hmm. is how kind of realistic the movement with your gun is, if that makes sense. Like, there's obviously always going to be recoil. Your attachment's always going to mess with that. But when you peek corners and stuff, the way your gun moves with you is very, very realistic. And I think that's going to be something a lot of these players are going to notice and have to get used to very quickly. And you saw a taste there of uh, when you're spectating a player, you get that kind of like over-the-shoulder, like tactical camera review and it just has this insane level of like, it's like realism but like it just looks so exciting to watch you when you're you know enjoying like you know maybe seeing your teammates play or whatnot it, it just looks so cool it's nice to be here in the game uh, and sorry Clint, this is the new knockout mode I don't think you you might not I know what this I, means. I, I, I haven't seen this one yet. I haven't, oh, I I haven't played, played it yet. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I mostly, I, I was watching some of the guys play. I just wanted to kind of live react and enjoy it. Yeah. Like, there's so much new stuff. Like, I've just been looking forward to seeing what's going to be on the table. But let's see if Jack can actually step up this time. No, no not going to happen. Just getting destroyed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Superior positioning, Jack. You are awful. 
Oh, was that too hard? Uh, he's my no, oh, no, 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 um, yeah. He's doing the classic. He's going to his set. He's, like, <laughs> he's doing the classic. <laughs> it was something else. It was something else. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, oh, oh, my sensitivity or something. What is it? I no, Jack. Wherever he's spectating, he's using my favorite SMG by the way. Too. I think that's the, what the hurricane. Think? The hurricane. What do you yeah. think, by the way? You're about to. Ooh. Changes to Gunsmith and now having five so, attachments and not having your know, foot is Yeah, amazing. so you know I saw the rumblings <laughs> on Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's amazing though. I mean when we jumped into Modern Warfare in 2019 when they introduced the Gunsmith, there was a lot to take in, but now everybody's familiar with it, especially grinding Warzone, switching up those attachments, and it's just a better version it of that. Like a good middle ground, it's just right? a better like, version of that, right? Like the gun moves around with you as you're in there. You can switch out all the different attachments, and you know, for the class of weapon that you have, like you can change it up, turn a M4 into oh, an SMG. Like, I mean, that's, that's really cool. Ooh, Ooh, this is, oh that was nearly a snap. That this was is nearly six. gross. Uh, one of the uh, you know, the all-time greats in the competitive Call of Duty world. One of the, maybe maybe the. If not the. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah I, I don't know why I said it that way. Yeah, like, no, like the all-time great. Yeah. Ross, he's the greatest, but there we go. Swag now getting involved as well. And, and to your point, of, and Ali, about Gunsmith, I mean, it's at this point in time, obviously, it's quite hard to recognize, but that is a part of the M4 platform right that's now. That's his primary weapon. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Like, you can switch it up. Like, you can make it into a sniper, I think, is what I heard <laughs> point as well, right? So it's going to be crazy. Even with the AK turning 70 for you, uh, just make some crazy different loadouts. You know some of these guys, j God's going to have so much fun with that. Nine and a half hour long attachment video from j God. Oh, wait. God. You know, he's so excited about that. And I want to actually, I want to talk about the map aesthetics for a moment and, like, the layout. Is the rooftops, like, the new ledge, how you can jump and then you can hang off the side of the ledge. That's a new <laughs> thing that you can add into this game, you can jump from rooftop to rooftop. And like, you can jump further nice. than you think. And I found that out very quickly. Like, I would get to an edge of rooftop and I was like, I wonder if I can make this jump. You <laughs> can make, you can nice. make the jump. You can make it across like the map. If there's tall buildings, you can make it across the map without ever having to touch on the ground. And I think for snipers, that is going to be their absolute playground. Speaking of snipers, Pomage now, who's having a great time here. Uh, I mean, uh, we've seen a lot, Clint, of, of the weapons so far, but surely a sniper. Well, I, I, I heard Pomage too. Like, I, I stepped up. I think it's when he was first walking in. He was walking with an irrational into people, and he was like, I'm going hard, bro. Oh, yeah. He's like, I'm right. going hard. <laughs> I could just hear, like, the this competitive. He's got, yeah, he's he's going going hard. <laughs> and this is uh, this knockout game is not going very well for the red team right now. Pomage's team obviously winning this one. Again, secure the grab, the money bag, hold on to that bad boy. And, oh, I forgot, friends. Here at COD Next, it's all going on. Mobile gaming oh, conference side of your screen. Those. We've got all of it going on, really. A celebration of everything that is Call of Duty and even courage he may have just sworn. Do you see the, the gloves on the gun? Yeah, they're and yeah, professionals. The True professionals. <laughs> Wait, do I? I probably need to get this. Right, I've been playing some COD Mobile, Diablo Immortal. Like, I've been grinding more mobile games. I have my iPad and I'm loving it. Do I need to get little thumb sleeves? I think, so. yeah. I really I think you should, yeah. You know, sometimes it gets a little bit slippery. I need thumb sleeves. What are they called? Uh, I'm I a thumb sleeve. You're in the right place to ask yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, is, there is an army of oh, professionals. Oh, I'm looking into that. No, that's actually an issue. It's like it's a little bit slippery, you know? <laughs> So they're playing some hardpoint here, and you, you know, obviously, us coming from the esports side of things, we love hardpoint. Miles, we were talking about this morning. When there's a hardpoint and there's some elevation above it, you can dive into it, turn around, land on your belly, and yeah, absolutely fry. So, you know, there are some movement mechanics for, for you speed demons out there if you want to make some plays. Yeah, there's a lot of talks about you know the way slide works now, and of course the dolphin dive is back. I don't think it's a, we're not officially calling it the dolphin dive, but Joe Scott calling it the dive itself. I mean, it's a really fun mechanic. It's uh, it's fast, and we get to see some gameplay with it. Uh, I've actually been walking around talking to some of the sort of the CDL pros been like, hey guys, try to stop sliding, try to dive a bit more. Come on, butters, show us the dive. Show us the slide, now we're looking for the right dive. Right out the window, just dive out the window, send it. <laughs> and all the windows are built to be divable through. Like, that's the way the game is. That's you what Joe was kind of saying, right? Like, they've seen it so much in playtesting, and Nate goes into a window, like, everyone <laughs> spins it out. So, uh, you think, like, all the excitement yeah, is going to happen. Here we go, butters are going to be sniping there. That's the, so we have the Hurricane, she's running overkill. That's going to be one of the M4 platforms, and the sniper on the other side. He's and we have the mechanic, I, look. Uh, there we go. Every stream I have to wait to play God. No, these streams are going to play. So every stream I got to wait. I was trying to see if I could break the slide. No slide well, that breaking. works out. Yeah, look at her face. Ooh. She's just like going around <laughs> test out the movement. So it's right in front of her. That works out. Give me a freebie. You know what I'm noticing on this map that I actually like a lot? Not as many doors. Just run through. Not as many doors. I think in Some general areas. is yeah. the overall vibe. Uh, I mean, most of the maps we've seen so far are quite small, very fast paced. Again, Jeff talking about that, you've got a very distinct feel. It's just like the battle map is very large. Yeah. Way more intense action. Of course, there's like invasion stuff. 
6v6 is a totally different flavor. I mean, that obviously and yeah. excites us oh, more that, than that maybe it us. should most. Oh, I mean, we love it, right? Like, we, we're, we're here to see people go hard, uh, try to win, be competitive, and... Uh, Ooh, you know, oh, okay. I don't think we're seeing a lot of elevation on some of these maps, too. You know, the snipers are going to be in heaven. Yeah, I think yeah. it's uh, max two stories, I believe. I, I could be completely wrong there, but... <laughs> I hit it! Hit it. Also, look, how, look at that little stock. Did you guys use the sniper yesterday? Yeah, right? No, I didn't. I used it for it's a like whole invasion cutest little stock I've ever seen. It was so fun. I think we were in the same game, too. Yeah, I was in the back sniper. I, I can't wait for the sort of like anime skins and stuff like that, my cute little stocks. Uh, of course, <laughs> the we can put skins on individual attachments now when it comes to making some very, this very handsome, handsome looking oh, weapons. Oh, Dylan Price, speaking of handsome. Oh, good. Also, something we haven't talked about yet is the way the perks work. I actually oh, love I love, I love, I love the perks system. Because it reminds me of back in the day, the specialist, when you, as you get yep. Kills, you get more perks. As time goes on, you're gonna have two base perks. You can pick whatever you want. As time goes on, you're gonna get another perk. As time Ooh. goes on, you're gonna get an ultimate perk as well. So it's actually, a, it's completely new. Uh, they've redone it, and it's gonna be sweet. Well, sweet. the reason I think, I haven't, I haven't really played it yet to deal with it too much to see like how vastly different it makes the gameplay. But I know for a lot of us, when you're playing like the multiplayer experience, I feel like you get a couple perks you like, and you just sort of pick those. They're your go-to, yeah. you don't really think about it, right? Like, you figure that out in the first couple days or, or weeks they of playing the game, you come those are your play perks. It, like, now it's like, I feel like there's more decision-making that goes into it, which I personally think is they exciting. Now, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna be running. But, <laughs> but, but it, does, it does feel like they were saying, what was it, that, you know, the different type of classes they were trying to put, you have your rusher, kind of your more stealth yeah, type yeah. player, your sentinel, like they, they wanna, even if it's not like class based per se, like they wanna kind of funnel it with that behind the purses. Yeah, right? I think that's pretty excited. dope. But you can also make your own, so you can create it, pick your own two perks, your next one, and your ultimate, so you can, no, you know, figure out so, what man. you want. And yeah, uh, it's just nice like having that. like a rewarded game, especially it, when you're frying, getting that extra perk. On. It really does, you know, change what you start off with the base two. Yeah. You unlock one after, you know, a period of time, you get kills, you get points, the yeah. game progresses slowly. So no matter how you're playing, you're going to get your perks eventually. But obviously, you higher scoring game, you're here. gonna get more. And it's just really interesting. Again, and the perks are Almost tiered, and again, Jeff and Joe will come on the desk later on and talk about this in yeah, way yeah. more detail. But the idea that, like, yeah, the first two perks, yeah, they're fine. They sort of help out the gameplay. Okay. That mid-tier perk, oh, way more sort of impactful. Yeah. And that yeah. final perk, like a kind of like the super perk. Yeah. That's yeah. not going to turn you into Captain America, but it is going to make you way more effective. I kind of want to be Captain America. We're spilling the beans now, right now. America, uh, yeah. Yeah. Taking Jeff and Joe's thunder. Well, <laughs> Symphony was just on screen, so. <laughs> I mean, look at the wagon on that boy. <laughs> what? There it is. Oh, I love the picture there. Like, yeah, I mean, two million views on TikTok, something like that. It's, like kind of, it. <laughs> it's impressive stuff. That's what you're watching in your free time clip? Uh, yes, I'm it might be. It might okay. be. Okay. I'm watching it. It's Brooke's TikTok, you know? She's very creative. This is uh, a Search and Destroy, a uh, Call of Duty classic here on Fun 18. This looks cool. This is one of the maps that we saw in an Intel drop not too long ago. Ooh, let's go. So, uh, this is Symphony Spectating. Ash Sanders. Yeah. And you know, of course, we're talking about like three lane maps. This is one of those maps that felt like a very good hybrid three lane map that does really, really well when it comes to a game mode like their Search and Destroy. Like you have your traditional outer lanes and they have their hidden corners and they have their ways. And then that middle is just pure chaos. It's kind of like a little bit of like, a, it reminds me of like a paintball range with all the walls and the corners that there are. So I, this is probably one of my favorite maps that we are playing right now in the beta testing. And as you can see, everybody is having so much fun on it. I mean, four and five, everybody's doing it's a close okay. game. It's a yeah. close game. Yeah. Aiden has 14 kills. I just saw the kill board. He's on the other team. Aiden just realized he's on the stream that he's ready to get nasty. He's going in. <laughs> oh, he's fully loaded. Look at the bottom. He's got all his perks. He is he's perked up. Hurt. Quite literally. Come on, Mason. Show me something special. He is flying. He does oh, fennec. wow. And That's what we're oh, talking about. Oh, no. That's the Fennec. I was loving that one yesterday. Oh, that thing turns, That's an OG weapon. That, that turns people in a super oh, close God. range, but Pornyhoff just gave him the first Smoked him. Nice try, Mason. We still love you. Hurricane OP. Hurricane. It's, so, like, it's such a different look. Like when we're spectating these players and they're having gunfights stuff, like the way the player animations are, the yeah. sound effects. Like he said, bro, you one of the best. Why you ain't like, there? Everything. Yeah, I ain't getting invited with that. 19, all the stuff that was already there existing, and they've just, yeah. they've just been. Are they gonna have? Yeah, they gonna have Warzone just, too. Just hammer and bottom of sweet seasoning. Oh, I don't know about Rebirth. Well, and it was a close game, and now it's done. I know that he looked very sneaky, and then he was just evaporated. I gotta say, the bunny hop is back and forth. Oh man, the bunny hop is clean. We know Samaru Octane. Gotta give him a shout out. He's gonna. Money up and all day. We got Myth on the screen here. What's he using M4, I think? Again, it, it, looking at these weapons, oh. you know it's an M4, but the configuration he has. I oh. was using the bigger sight, uh, the double. Uh, the sorry, I forget the name of it. Ooh, I got like the, the extra zoom. And of course, Killstreak, Cruise Missile three, back, a lot of fan favorites, Clint. I mean, everything you would expect so from a Modern Warfare is there. We get to see one. Myth. Ah, 
that'll connect. Myth able to hit it. He's vibing right now. <laughs> but it's it's crazy. Like yeah, yeah. Bottom right, you were kind of hey, mentioning like how different the guns are. Yeah. The same type of gun is based on the attachments that it has as well. As a sort of in-game settings where you can make your gun a little more narrow, a bit wider, further away. I mean, there's options. You know, just create that sort of visual. The people want the game to be as appealing as possible for you. Maybe you don't want the gun to be so big to obscure the view. Maybe you're one of those players. There is a there's a to tweak how I walk. Right. There's a lot of settings in this game. I'm gonna get lost in that for the entire first day probably. Once campaign hits, I'll spend about three and a half hours messing with settings and then getting yeah. that first mission. Well, I see Courage on a five street. That pop up at the top of the screen. It might have. Courage might be popping off. Oh, well, he just died there, so <laughs> take it back. Ooh. Come on, Swag. Swag's dialed. Hit it. Swag's ah! dialed. Yeah, this sub looks like it's it's down there. Also, all the sounds and everything when you level up guns. Oh, yeah. Everything is there. I mean, it's, it's I, the... I wish everyone could experience just this environment, though. Like, as much as we're enjoying yeah. the gameplay and stuff, how cool it's been. Because, like, a lot, of, a lot of these content creators, like, they're friends or they're familiar with each other. They play games online. But, like, it's not often you get them all in one place like this. It, it has just been a vibe. Seeing everybody going up, some meeting for the first time. Like, yeah. I know Iceman Isaac, we, we have interacted so many times on social. I've never met him in never person, him, dude. Yeah, we smile. hugged for a solid 30 seconds. It was beautiful. <laughs> And it just shows like how hyped people get for Call of Duty. I was, no, yeah. you, I was like, I can't believe I still get this amped for Call of Duty after over 10 years. I don't think many things like bring everybody together like this. Yeah. It is uh, yeah. it's special. The beta starts tomorrow in case you've been living under a rock or if you've just joined the stream. Yeah. <laughs> one, of the, one of the two. <laughs> one of the two. There's no in between. User interface has been completely changed as well. Dead silence available on that lower right hand side. Just a lot more sort of clean changes. Of course, the menu system, which you might not have seen here on the on the main uh, uh, Next stream, but individual streamers seeing them going through weapon loadout, seeing the operators there. So many cool changes. A lot more of a streamlined experience. It's sexy. That's, that's not a lot of ways to describe it. I love that, especially like when you click start, you go and you look at your loadout, your switch weapons. It looks good. You can see everything. It's just right in front of your face. You know exactly what's there. Uh, digestible, and that's what you need. It's such a fast paced game. Like Call of Duty's digestible. I also quite enjoy that like, it doesn't obscure too much of the in-game screen. Yeah. So if, like, if I'm hitting pause, I'm checking stuff out, I still want to have some kind yeah. of like situational awareness when I'm in-game. Yeah. Yeah. And I will say in terms of balance of like ARs and SMGs, of course, this is all of our, like, our first peeks into it, but they've looked pretty balanced so far. Like The SMGs have been absolutely disgusting up close, whether the AR gets first shot or not. And at long range, the SMGs haven't been ripping as well. The recoil gets insane at that sort of range. So I feel like it looks like the gun balance as well, regardless of your attachments and what configuration you end up coming with, is fairly much I, I love that because I mean it just feels like sometimes it turns into this one gun that can do everything yeah. right? and, and I, I, I think everyone appreciates a little bit of variety like an well, AR Clint, feels like an AR that's literally what this like game is because you could change your gun up to whatever you want right so well, well in a way yeah but like I think t Dally's point like there seems to be a little more separation between yeah. the Yeah, like I haven't AR, seen the right. do-it-all gun just yet. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, we saw Aiden, of course, on the Mountain Dew green carpet, like, I want a broken shotgun. <laughs> and I'm sure he can make it, but broken, we'll find out what that really means. Uh, of course, as the game you know, like off. develops. <laughs> he, wants, yeah, he wants a sawn off that kills people across map, that makes him move real fast. I mean, hey, who knows? Gunsmith is crazy. 2.0 even crazier. As well, I mean, we'll I just need to be explaining well, what to do. No matter how much work we've into this, uh, we've right? got the nerds in the building. And this is where if anyone's going to test some stuff, buy <laughs> Find some, you know, weird combination that yeah, turns a shotgun into a sniper. This is the crew that's going We've to do it. We've only scratched the surface. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've yeah, touched yeah. it for 20 minutes. Oh, what people are going to do with this gun. That's just not so, enough, is it, Miles? Not yeah. enough. No idea what these guys are going to come up with, but it's going to be crazy. I need a good sort of two to three hours to really uh, get look at, Look at going. Chef Tony. Yeah, look, this is one good. of the most famous Italian men in the world. Yeah. Makes Metal. a mean stromboli. We love him. Metal boots on the building. He's got the M4. He's Metal gonna run, boots. He's going to run this class setup from now until the next two years. <laughs> we talking about it. can be great to mess around with guns. Oh, Chris Crowder. I don't, listen, I'm not sure what's going on here. Chris has been uh, growing some sort of beard that's happening for the first time that I've seen him. He's, he's usually very baby face. Now I, he's kind of going for some sort of supermodel type thing, or maybe like being a, a, a rapper, singer. Not sure. He's a handsome guy. He, he really is. He really is. A tiny little bit of a user interface there. If you hold a circle, whatever your sort of crouch button is when you're on a ladder, you can fast slide down it. So uh, that's getting spicy in fight. Oh, by oh, 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 he's up. He's on his feet. Outer. He's on his feet. The gouch. The gouch. Oh, man. We will be playing all day, friends. All day. You know what? The iron sights here are kind of clean. Well, I think this is great, too, for a lot of. Uh, I mean, people like. You saw Zinni. You know, you saw. Hey, you watch this shit all day. Fuck okay. that. Watch it later.
Bro, they finna have some crazy ass gun customization shit. This next war zone finna be crazy. I can tell that already. You can make a sniper or SMG. Or an AR pistol. They got bird ass mobile back. Whole lot of shit. Whole lot of shit. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs> We're gonna have some that was the fuck he just did. Good dance, Rosa. He said, I told my girl, Mother, I took out when I didn't bother me. I'll do your girl like that, man. Put a wife like that. Rebirth is mad. Why they keep taking rebirth and putting it back out the day after day? You're always able to share. Charge hands to the light. We're killing knocks to the light. Let's go. That's a rebirth fun, man. I'm not finna see it right now and watch them play. He said, go down where I said they expanded the website by the steps. He said, I ain't paying for no beta gang. I'm sorry. I ain't paying either. Content creators and designers always hit me up. Yeah.
ain't full of Jabir. I got a spot up there if you want to play. Hey, new. Oh, the bar probably looking good though, for real, for real. I think I jumped too much my quill. Over here, sleep talk. AP. Rolling 20. Dab, are you? Rebirth back, yeah, rebirth back. Vienen otros dos a ver. 
Al mismo lugar. Te cae otro. Me rompió la cámara. Me rompió la cámara con la, la puerta, güey. Choqué justamente con eso. Squad 
En la torre, güey, en la torre, en la torre. Arbo, cuidado en la torre de atrás suyo. ¿Me remato? ¿Es que... Yeah, you'll be being here, right? Uh, y'all said I was using VPN before I started using VPN, though. I just started using VPN. Shut up! I'm just saying it to you, man. <laughs> what the fuck? No, man, no. One of your allies is back. Hold on, you're gonna be paying that first, though. I just started using it. Y'all hear my boy Jaberry say, y'all fuck me, man. Cop a fucking badge. Let's go. You playing the web, baby? Let me know. He said, y'all do your thing. Too much meat riding in the chat. Trying to play by myself. That's gonna get boring real fast.
That we get PC, man. Ain't time to upgrade. So my PC tweaking. Upgrade the graphics card. Up, up, I mean, update your graphics card. Man. Update your um, your regular system. Send me bread, motherfucker, how much you need? Yeah, he damn near got the bag. He's talking about he's just going up. He ain't got no bad though. He ain't got no bad dreams playing for the home, bro. That's my new rule. No bad, no play. Alright, the niggas don't want to play for it. Ain't nothing but five dollars. I keep a spot open. That's how much your graphics card costs? He said I'm always getting a few. I'm the guy like that in bed.
97k. Join up, baby. There we go. Hey, my shit's tweaking, nigga. I'll be right back there, 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 I'll be right
Big ones. Uh,
on the roof. Still in the tower, bro.
I just started using VPN though. I don't give a fuck. Pans me. But it's certain shit you just don't talk about. All the big streamers use VPN, bro. All of them. He said right now Eric Singapore, Aiden. but get you to buy a lot of it. We're gonna have to. know that. <clears throat> Singapore's a good one. Hey, I just be I just be playing on it. I ain't know that it's it's a certain server dedicated to them. Wanted to get you to buy a lot of it. I ain't know that. Be a few sweats in there, but usually. Why Singapore? Oh, that niggas out. I'm out. Oh, Fuck, he's behind me.
What's that, bitch? Another one. I'm gonna try after they see if it works. Hold on.
Yo. Last one, Jameer. Uh, I'll probably play one more, two more.
Deidre. Enemy soldier nearby. Yo, Burberry! Do it. Bro, why ain't you live today, bro? I am. Yeah, that's all the motherfuckers see that live, bro. You don't see the LBDG? Yeah, fuck the Facebook scammer. Oh, fuck. Shit. That's just live. Yo, Burberry! Ooh, that's... Hold on, time. Thanks, bro. Give me that LMG, 
Bro, I had one play. Fuck. Bottom, bottom. What's up? What's up? Bro, what the fuck?
Well, I'm out of ammo, I'm out of ammo. How the fuck can we load? I mean, what the fuck? We love talk much. Yeah, that shit got me next to you, bottom. Early in the morning, late at night. Mark the rally, it's the new safe zone. Gas is closing in. Bought a bicycle. Oh, fuck with your money. I did my guy. Yeah, you said, man. Gotta take a break for a second, anyway, man. GG's, Rose. I'm gonna take a break right there. I gotta call somebody. I gotta call somebody. GG, I appreciate y'all thumb by showing love though, man. See everybody tomorrow. Well, I see everybody later. Maybe later, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. GG's. Oh, man. I definitely was like, man. I'm gonna be later on though, bro. I've done some night clear. I feel out of it right now. Just night clear. Take a break or that. I gotta, I gotta make a phone call anyway. So I'll see y'all later on. GG's. Fucking cheese.